Hello everyone, welcome to part 176 of Laravel 10 series uh, in which we are getting the e-commerce website and uh, this is the last video for now uh, because we will start working on the Laravel 11 series uh, that we will do in the MongoDB uh, for rest of the features you can contact me and I will give you the reference videos uh, the same videos, uh, the same chapters that we have done earlier also you can simply integrate those and if you will find any issue you can surely contact me okay so uh, in this video we are going to integrate the direct bank transfer and pay with check options so these are the prepaid payment methods but in these payment methods uh, the payment will come later by the customer via account transfer or by check okay in both the cases uh, we will just simply place the order uh, but uh, keep the order status as pending uh, that will later on uh, updated by the admin or client to payment captured whenever the admin or client receive the payment from from the customer either by the check or uh, or this tra bank transfer then he can easily update the payment status to payment capture the order status to payment capture from the admin panel so we are going to work on this one straight away so let's see let's start uh, let's go to the checkout page uh, here see we are having the product in the cart uh, we will straight away go to the checkout page here you can see the two options direct bank transfer and pay with check so we are going to modify uh, we'll go to check uh, this one in checkout page uh, here pay with check value is check fine and uh, another one is pay with bank transfer value is bank transfer fine okay so we will open the product controller place order uh, that checkout sorry checkout post method of checkout here we are getting this one see uh, a payment method is prepared and that is the pending that is also fine uh, so in this case uh, we are going to place the order that is also fine in case of cod reducing here we will uh, yeah in this case also uh, we can reduce this stock but the payment has not come so whenever the payment will come then the client or admin can manually reduce this stock but in if in case of cod we are reducing uh then uh, here also i think we can reduce as well uh so also we're going to check like the payment gateway okay so what i'm going to do see if payment gateway is cod then this one uh here uh, we're going to add more status here okay uh, here I'm going to add here the else if else if payment gateway is uh, uh, here going to pick this one first cash on delivery then direct bank transfer bank transfer uh, payment method is bank transfer okay uh, payment method we will sorry we will use as prepaid only in both and order status we will keep as pending same okay and here uh, in case of check as well okay so in case of bank transfer check uh, uh, see in, co in else condition it is fine also uh, so that is fine because in else condition paper will go that's not an issue uh, otherwise we can simply drop this one then it, it also pick this one so that's also fine not an issue so that's why i have not added earlier uh, but here here in this case uh, cod payment gateway is cod then it's reducing the stock see in paypal we are reducing after it okay but here we need to see uh, payment gateway okay so i'm going to check uh with the payment gateway itself uh i will add the other condition as well like payment gateway is bank transfer or check then also in those cases we are going to reduce the stock 
for payment gateway is bank transfer or payment gateway is check then in these cases also we are going to do this one okay so and also uh, we are going to send the email as well for this i'm going to copy this one once again and we'll add it here as well okay we will also send the email to the customer as well but one thing uh, to do here uh, like uh, we will reach the thanks page uh, okay so here we can see that we will reach the thanks page but in thanks page in both the cases uh, we will show the customer uh, the address uh, or we will show the bank details in which the user uh, is required to transfer the payment okay so for that uh, we are required to have the different uh, redirections okay so what we are going to do here like if in case of cod uh, we are going to send here this one so else if uh, see same condition will work here as well uh, we are going to add this one So here, uh, in case of uh, bank transfer, uh, we can uh, add uh, some other page like, uh, or we can do one more thing. Uh, we can add something like order equal to bank, like this one. And here we can simply add here order equal to check so that the page will remain the same just we will check the condition here okay uh, see we will check here the condition uh, here the same condition that uh, we have added early on uh, that will work uh, uh, yeah we will simply add node empty okay so if uh, this dollar underscore get sending here uh, here order sorry this one order not empty and it this case we're going to copy this one please send your check of amount So uh, to blow blow address. Okay, here we will add the address like whatever it is. Side maker dot in. Here uh, we are going to show it like break. Then uh, here uh, we will show the address. Okay, uh, anything. CP New Delhi. Then break again then complete address at complete address daily then again we will add the break okay then finally
file like India like this okay and here uh, also uh, mention the check name uh, add below check name or simply add check name or you can add check to be cut check to be uh, uh, check to be written on na uh, name anything you can write okay just we are going to mention that the check name okay check name is the main thing okay uh, or simply check name okay so anything you can add here like this in case of check so in case of uh, uh, account transfer then we have the different condition here uh, when the order is bank transfer in this case uh, please send a uh, please transfer Uh, amount no itna to below uh, below bank account so here you must add the account holder name like uh, okay so then bank name Uh, here if the account holder name is something like the company name then you will mention the company name here then the bank name like any bank like SCICI okay then IFSC code that may be required anything or uh, whatever the IFSC code of that particular branch okay like this you can add okay so we are going to check once that how it looks uh, we able to place order or not uh, like in case of direct bank transfer let's see uh, place order it is sending email yes okay so here uh, it's order equal to bank uh, but here it is not showing not empty uh, dollar get order uh, it is not showing anything and uh, let's see uh, whether it is hiding some content i don't think so order equal to bank what's happening here okay it's in small that's why just click on order bank and here I think it is just check like this let's refresh here okay so we need to uh, place order once again no issue we'll do that let's see now yes this time it's fine please transfer amount of itna to blow account account holder name this one and this one this one this one so everything seems to be perfect here just required uh, to blow address after that one break is required and everything else is fine okay so uh, we will now place uh, with another one uh, with uh, check uh, see we have done with uh, bank right now okay we will now do with the check okay so once again we will add one more product uh, okay we will add product again to test its functionality and click to 
proceed to checkout and then finally we will add select this one okay we check click on place order let's pay for uh, wait for few seconds yes done see please send your check of amount it's not to blow address okay so the address detail is there check name is also there okay so we'll check these orders in admin both orders with pending status admin will approve whenever he got the payment and both are prepaid methods let's see yes both are done both are the prepaid let's see the last one that is by check okay so this one order status is pending you can see payment method is prepaid okay payment gateway we can also show here the payment gateway uh, let's see uh, that uh, we are having the payment gateway as well i think uh, here is yes payment gateway but we are not showing the payment gateway i think uh, we must show the payment gateway as well I check. Uh, no we are not showing we must show payment after payment method i'm going to show the payment gateway as well that is necessary okay uh, in order details after payment method we will show the payment gateway as well payment gateway now see now here also we have having the payment gateway check okay so see it's fine everything seems to be fine a user the admin can manually uh, update it like once the payment received the, the admin can able to ship it directly or can update it to the in process okay once the admin receive the payments okay so let's check the another one as well and that is the bank transfer click for this one yes bank transfer so uh, it's all done we able to integrate these payment methods as well and now uh see check in video description i have provided you reference links for cms cms pages that you can easily integrate by following these videos you can integrate the contactors page as well you can integrate the new level bestseller discounter products as well so that you can create these pages okay uh, these pages new levels feature products okay so all uh, we have already done in the earlier series so same code you can simply add simply integrate in this series as well so for the new users who not watched the earlier series they can simply follow these videos and can easily able to integrate okay and also ratings and reviews is also there in the previous series that you can simply integrate in this series as well okay so we will start working on laravel 11 series along with the mongodb so that is on line now that is the major thing to do so please watch that video you are going to gain much knowledge and that is the new things both are new laravel 11 as well as the mongodb okay now uh, the uh, see time is changing and everyone is using uh, the mongodb nosql database and that also we are going to use with the laravel 11 so if you are going to learn that that will be big advantage for you okay so if you are going for the interview if you are a developer even if you are a student okay so uh, see uh, if you are will go for the interview and you know both of these things that it's the big benefit it's the big plus okay so watch those series as well and also uh, join as a member uh, to get this complete source code as well okay you can simply go here stack developers you can simply open this one stack developers youtube channel and go here join to get the complete source code and always subscribe to get uh, get all updates okay so that you will get the intimation whenever this series starts uh, okay you will get the int intimation it's already started so it's already started okay so you will get the intimation of all new updates okay so also join to get the complete source code so that's it for now Thanks for watching this series, Laravel 10 e-commerce website. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so we'll meet again in Laravel 11. So have a nice time. Goodbye.